Hello, I'm Dr. Hugh McLaughlin. I'm the Director of Biocarbon Research at Alterna Biocarbon, and one of my expertises is biochar. Today we're going to learn how to make a fairly large biochar device, pretty much adapted to a household or even a small farm. Now what I've got here is a 55 gallon drum, open head, and what I've done notably is I've drilled four holes. One, two, three, four. We're going to call this the better burn barrel. Most of us know these as burn barrels. They sit out back. People hack some holes in it with an ax and they burn brush in it. This is going to do a better job of it. So the outer barrel is the burn barrel with the holes in it. But the real key to the better burn barrel is another barrel that we put inside of it. So this is a 30 gallon barrel. And these are available, they're not as common as 55s, but go to, go to the Yellow Pages or Google Drums and you'll find these. Again, an open-headed drum. The key here is the bottom. Now we've made a series of slots in the bottom to make a grate so that the air comes up uniformly. This is done by getting a blade sold at a hardware store called a metal cutting blade. It goes on a circular saw. You put this special blade on it, just like cutting wood, it cuts metal. And it's quite easy. If you're not comfortable doing it, the person who owns the circular saw will be. So I'm going to set this down inside. But in order to get some air underneath the bottom, I'm going to put just a few little offsets. So this is a piece of what's called slotted angle. Again, same hardware sells this stuff. Buy two feet of it, cut it into four sections, and set these down at the bottom like that, just to prop this drum up that inch and a half so I can get a little air underneath it. So this sets in here. And 30 gallon barrel inside of 55 sits in there with just about two inches all around. Now, what you've got is you've got a burn barrel, the inner one, with an outside barrel that keeps the heat in and brings air in both the bottom and up and around the top. So, what I'll do when I burn this is I'll take the original top for the 55 set it here, put a chimney so I get a nice draft, and now I've got a device that burns nice and hot and nice and clean. And this can actually be burned like a tea lut. But today we're going to go one step farther and make really good biochar. To do that, we take the wood we want to use and we put it in a device which is basically something called a Cornelius keg. Now that's, that's an odd name. This is what they use in those portable soda bars that go around to parties. They hold this carbonated water. They have a black boot on the bottom and a handle on the top. You take those off with a chisel. You add two bolts to hold this bracket across and a screen across. And you cut up wood into hunks big enough to fit in there. And you load this up with wood. This will become the biochar. It goes opening down. The key is that as this burns, the gases will come out the bottom and come back up and burn and heat the retort to make the charcoal. So this goes in here. And now I'm going to load some additional wood around the side and some newspaper to get the outer fire going to get it going to the point that the wood will turn to char, giving off wood gases that will fire the rest of the cycle. So I'm going to come back in a sec once I've loaded up with wood and we'll take it from there. So now we have the two inner canisters full of wood. Now I've got to build a fire around the outside. So I'm going to load in some kindling and some paper to get it going and that will start the heat. The heat will turn the wood into charcoal giving off gas that will run the rest of the batch. 
Let me load this up and then let's take a look at it and we'll light it up. Okay, now we're ready to light it. We've added some wood and some newspaper on the outside. I'm going to put a little 91% isopropyl alcohol. This will get everything going uniformly. You can build a regular fire in there. If you want, you can rub two sticks together. But frankly, this is the easiest way. It's sold at the CVS. Don't go crazy. Just enough so that the newspaper at the bottom and a little bit of the wood will all catch fire. And it'll all get going by itself. So I'm going to reach down in there and give it a pop. You can hear it roaring already. It certainly takes off. Now this is the first time we've used these drums. And because of that, some of the paint is going to get hot and come off. After a couple of runs, that'll stop. And it's not dangerous, it's just heating the drum hotter than it was designed to for the paint. And then after about 30 runs, remember we call this the better burn barrel? After 30 runs, you'll be able to call it the better days burn barrel, because it'll have been seen better days. So let's let this cook for a while, and maybe we'll come back and catch a couple shots. This is just the fire getting going, and it'll start burning clean in a moment. Thanks. We're about five minutes into the burn. We're seeing the paint blister from the heat, and we're seeing heat waves coming out of the stack. So now what's happening, that outer fire is burning along cleanly, heating those tubes, off gas comes off the tubes, that gets burned cleanly. It'll take about almost an hour to do the cook, and then several hours to cool off it automatically stops. You don't do anything from this point on. But let's see what we're making. I made some batches earlier, and this is what the biochar will come out like. And this is just the prettiest stuff in the world. It's not charcoal. Can't do that with charcoal. It's just a wisp of the wood, and that's what you want to go in the soil. We'll take a look at how to put it in the soil in a minute. But this is what you're trying to make, and this is how you make it.